Hi, and welcome back to the Race Coordinator Race Format Tutorials. Um, in this tutorial, we're, we're, this is part two of actually the group tutorials. We're talking about how to set up a group race. Um, in the previous tutorial, I got through sort of what a group race is and all of the, um, the configuration properties that, that allow you to um, basically control how many groups there are. Um, the next stuff we're going to talk about are the rest of the properties, which is basically this balance. And then I'm going to start, and I'm going to set up a group race, and we'll show you a few examples. So, um, essentially, so I previously, like I said, previously explained how the group, the number of groups, gets set up. Once race coordinator figures out what the number of groups are, then it's a matter of putting the drivers into the groups. And there's two ways to do that. There's this balance checkbox here. Now, excuse me, I think most people will want to use balance um, here, but what balance does is it, it is it means balance seating into the groups and so what it'll do is if you have two groups or three groups or four groups it'll just evenly distribute the ranked drivers the seated drivers into those groups so if you have three groups driver rank seed one will go into group one seed two into two seed three into three seed four will wrap around back into, into group one and it'll carry on like that um, if you only have two groups, for example, an easy way to think of it is all of the odd-numbered dr uh, ranked drivers will go into group one, and all of the even-numbered ranked drivers will go into group two. Um, typically, that's how a lot of people will probably want to race because it sort of gives an even playing field throughout. You get some good drivers, you get some not-so-good drivers, um, you get a nice balance, a balance, nice balanced groups. Exactly what the term says. The alternative is to uncheck this balance checkbox in which case it takes the highest seated drivers and puts them into the first group, the next group of highest seated drivers into the next group, the next highest into the next group, and then all the way into the last group, which will contain all of the lowest seated drivers. Why would you do that? The reason would be if you, one way, would one reason would be to set up the max group as two, you could do essentially a winners and losers bracket. So you put all the high seeds into one, essentially from a, you know, uh, presumably this would come from a qualifying race um, before in an event, but you would put all the, lose, the the highest seeds into one, all the lowest seeds into the other, and then you essentially have a winners and losers bracket. So the winner of the of the group of group one is the winner of the winners bracket. The winner of group two is the winner of the losers bracket. Hooray! You know, I don't, I'm not sure. Um, you can do it. It's something race coordinator supports. I'm not sure anybody actually does it, but that's how it would work. So I'm going to show you a fairly um, common uh, grouping here, um, and essentially it's going to. It's going to contain two main, it's essentially a main setup. Um, we don't want to allow empty, we're not going to allow empty, uh, empty lanes and we're going to force max. I mean, this doesn't matter because we only have two groups. Um, so this is basically the group configuration I want to use right here. Um, so within the groups, um, because I had previously selected the tutorial RR, this is going to be, each group is going to ro run a round robin race format. So. Um, every driver will race on every lane against each other essentially in the group. So let's go to the um, let's go to the main here, create round robin underscore group. We're gonna add this race. Now it's been a while since I've set up a group race. I believe I've got it. Um, let's go find out. What do you say? Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the race day screen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna add all 20 drivers because um, in a group race you really want to have a lot of drivers. Um, again. I'm not going to show you all the different things that happen when you only have, you know, depending on your settings. I've already explained how they work. I'm not going to explain what happens when you have a low MT and, and you only have six drivers on a four-lane track, that kind of stuff. You can play around with that yourself. Basically, as I explained it, I recommend that you do so, actually, because it's really useful to see what's going on. So now there's some interesting things you can see here. So we've got a leaderboard, and you can see that all the drivers are ranked 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way down to 20. Um, and you've got... Um, You've also got a group leaderboard, and you know what I just realized? I realized I did not set up the num uh, the min and, oh no, I did, I set it up to one, so, um, and you've got a group, sorry, I'm trying to, uh, you've got a group leaderboard and a leaderboard. Now, the thing to notice here is that, uh, what did I do? Oh, I ran the wrong race, that's what I did. Just trying to figure out why it was all messed up. And, whew, so, okay, so we're going to run the group race here. Yeah, always important to select the race you want to run. So, um, what you saw there previously, by the way, was a uh, step-up race that we had set up in a previous tutorial. Um, highly recommend checking that out too. But, um, so what you're going to see here is, um, let's see, 
I'm just showing you quickly the leaderboards here. You get a group leaderboard and a leaderboard. The leaderboard during a, a regular group race can be very confusing to look at. As you'll see here, it is one. The driver order is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen. This is not even close to the ordering that like they were added in. It's all to do with how the group race is set up and how it ranks the drivers. Essentially, it's taking a certain number of drivers from from group one, and in this case, it's actually two drivers, uh, or one driver rather, and those are always going to be on top of everybody else. So in this case, it's going to be driver one and driver two. They're always going to be on the top. There's always going to be, because there's only two, two groups here, and I used a balanced seating, there's always going to be an even driver and an odd driver at the top of this race. Um, just the way it's going to be, because um, that's just how the group racing works. And I believe, in fact, it's very likely that the odd number driver will always be above the even number driver. So what we're going to do real quick here is I'm going to, I'm going to start this Five. race. Four, um, three, and what, and what two, I'm show you, it's one, to see the leader go. And stuff. Um, when you run a group race, I highly recommend only using the group leaderboard um, until the race is over. Okay. This can be very confusing here. So race, drivers five, seven, and three cannot be higher ranked than driver two because driver two is in the other group. New lane so record. One driver from each group guarantees to advance, quote unquote. Um, so nobody will ever pass that driver. Um, but you will see new race leader here. Um, the the clearer and more obvious new lap record is the group leaderboard, which is leaderboard only. It shows only the current group that's racing. So you'll see up here it says group one. The current leader in group one is driver one, and then here's the rest of the standings. And so this will work as a regular leaderboard. It'll be very familiar looking and very easy to to follow and understand. This leaderboard gets intensely more complicated if you were doing, say, a group step-up race. Um, Two minutes left. Record. Stepping up, you know, throws another complete curveball into how the drivers are ranked and whatnot. So it's a really confusing leaderboard to watch as the race formats get complicated. So um, what I'm going to do here Yellow is flag. this race, and I'm going to advance down to the next heat. Um, I'm not sure if I want to do this or not. I'm, how much time do I have? I've heat over. A couple of minutes. Five, um, four... I don't think I'm gonna make it. I think I assigned too many drivers to this uh, to this race. But um, so again, you'll see 19, 1, 3, and 5 are racing now. And um, best heat lap. And that's how it works. Um, essentially, essentially that's it. Um, I don't really want to go any further. Than this. Best heat lap. Until these tutorials and start fooling around with group races and have specific questions, but. In the end, this race will end. New lap record. What will happen is all the drivers will get sorted properly. Um, basically, everybody but driver one and driver New two race will leader. get sorted based on their final scores. It's just that none of these drivers have raced yet, so they're all zero, so they're obviously going to sort at the bottom. New heat leader. Um, so, you know, that's just, you know, eventually these guys will all intermix within each other. Um, to compose the final state. New lane so, record. Um, and again, I could have said it, I could have said, for example, min advance to zero, in which case um, it would not have had New race leader. Zero. I could have said it to, to two, two minutes in left. In which case, driver five, and then driver one in this case, because driver one is in second place right now, would be up here, then driver two and driver um, probably four, um, because driver four is the second ranked driver. Right New race leader. Group. Um, you know, could do anything you want with that min advance field. It's all about those those particular fields are all about um, what the next race is going to be. And again, this is another one of those race formats like the step up race, in which we're essentially assuming that this is being run in an event. And perhaps there was a qualifying event before this one. It's less important for a qualifying event here than it is for the step up race. Um, but odds are you would have done a qualifying race to get here, and then. This particular race is assumed actually to be another qualifying race into something else, like an into a finals race. Um, or at least that's one of the general ways to do it. And and typically, for example, um, Hopra um, will use a, a race format like this, not necessarily this exact one. I think they use even a step up format, or a step up round robin um, group format. I can't New remember. lane record. Um, in any event, um, what you would do is you would take the top four drivers and advance them to the next race and have a four driver finals race um, and that's the idea with the min advancing you take one driver from each group and then the two next best drivers for the whole race and you advance them into the event so anyways 
hope you uh, found this useful and hope you're able to set up races and you find them fun and crazy and cool. Anyway, 